All right, folks. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, why there are 3.2 million Indian people living in Canada now. Yes, Canada, the United States, Australia, New Zealand, and the 90% of Europe are no longer uh, white and Christian countries. Times have changed, and uh, I don't think uh, multiculturalism will make any of these Western countries any better. In fact, it's only made things worse. I've said many times before uh, I came to Canada as an immigrant, it wasn't my choice. My family uh, history is uh, quite complicated. I ended up coming to Canada with my stepmom's uh, sister. But uh, my goal is to leave in a few years' time because Canada is becoming a third world country. Let's look at census. Uh, so these are the official figures. I'm not making these up. Census is taken uh, once every five years. I've filled out these uh, many times before. And uh, if you look at uh, back in uh, 1981, the total uh, visible minority population in Canada was at uh, 1.13 million, or 4.7% of the population. There was a point uh, where it's estimated that uh, white people made up uh, between 95 to 97% of Canada's population. But uh, things have changed. Well, I know you guys want to talk about uh, the brutal history and uh, the residential schools and all that stuff, but uh, I'll leave that out of this video. Uh, the total number of visible minority has risen drastically to 9.6 million and leading the way is South Asian, aka India, Pakistan, that stands at 2.57 million. Now, mind you, this is only for Canadian citizens and uh, permanent residents. By the way, Canada in 2023 welcomed a record number of 750,000 permanent residents. 750,000. This is for a country with less than 40 million people. And uh, where are these people going to live? How are you going to find housing? Where the, how are these people going to find jobs? This creates a huge uh, issue for the country and its uh, economy and the housing market. That's why inflation has gone up so bad. That's why it's a huge uh, housing shortage because uh, our woke prime minister, Justin Trudeau, has completely destroyed this country. And uh, look at the uh, number of uh, international students uh, coming to Canada. 850,000 uh, number of uh, international students. Uh, by the way, uh, it's estimated that uh, 320,000 of these are coming from uh, India. And uh, many universities have gone completely woke. They've uh, created uh, all of these uh, useless uh, majors, these degrees. Nowadays, people can uh, graduate with a major in gender studies. By the way, there are only two genders. What the hell are you going to do with a four-year degree in gender studies? They're literally scamming people out of millions because all they care about is money. And the reason why Canada keeps wanting to bring out these international students, it's very obvious. It's all about the money because universities are charging anywhere between double to triple the amounts of tuition. They're scamming uh, literally millions of people worldwide. And uh, when these people graduate, they have zero job prospects whatsoever. What the hell are they going to do? And uh, we also have to count uh, people who are living in Canada as migrant workers as, and uh, non-permanent residents. Okay, it's estimated right now uh, there are at least uh, 1 million temporary foreign workers in Canada. And they showed that in this article. By the way, this is available on the Government of Canada website. These are all official sources. 28.5% is Indian. So that's another uh, 285,000 uh, Indian that's living in Canada as a temporary uh, migrant worker. And uh, this is a 68% jump in just uh, 10 years. 68% jump in 10 years, in one decade. Now let's uh, do some simple math, right? This is the official census of Canada. The 36.3 million people that's registered as Canadian citizens in 2021. The South Asian population is listed at 2.57 million. Okay, this is citizens and people with permanent residence. So you add another, uh, you know, 28% uh, Indian out of uh, 1 million migrant workers, that's 285,000. Out of uh, over 800,000 international students, 319,000 are Indian. You add all these numbers together, you're looking at uh, 3 million and uh, 75,000. That's roughly 8.5% of Canada's population. That's just uh, from one ethnic minority group. Have you ever been to the GTA, been to the Peel region? And uh, this is 2021, and uh, jumping to 2023, 2024, we're probably looking at uh, at least 3.2 million. And the number's constantly increasing. And uh, the more increasingly diverse Canada gets, the worse the country becomes, okay? When you take in people from third world countries, they bring third world problems with them. I'm sorry, that's just reality. And uh, right now, Canada's immigration target is set at $500,000 a year, okay? Where are those people going to live? How are they going to find work? How are they going to find housing? Imagine what Canada will look like in 2050. Imagine Canada in 2080, in 2100. Justin Trudeau has completely destroyed this country. How did we get to this point? Well, I mentioned these in previous videos and uh, there are many other factors. 
I expect uh, white people to become minority in Canada between uh, 2040 to 2045. The country has completely lost its that identity. I mentioned before, third wave feminism, rise of birth controls in the 1960s, rise of things, people with dual incomes but no children. People can afford to buy a home. They can afford to get a car, to get a minivan. They can afford to have three, four, five children but decided to not have any. People are becoming career women, going to medical school, getting PhDs, choosing to stay single and become a childless boss babe. And uh, this is going to cause huge issues for the country because with less people, there are less people paying taxes. We have an aging population. It collapses the healthcare system because people are getting older and older. They're getting sick and sicker. And uh, every day, these seniors, uh, they had to visit hospitals. And you have less people coming to the workforce to become doctors, to become nurses. We're seeing the exact uh, same thing happening in China, in Japan, in South Korea. Right now in China, 11 out of the 22 provinces, they're running on budget deficits in terms of their health care programs because there are so many old people now and uh, with uh, fewer and fewer younger people coming into the workforce to replace them. Right now, the birth rate for Canada in 2023 is at a staggering all-time low of 1.33 children per woman. But uh, if you're looking at just a white Canadian couple, I would say it's probably around one. Remember, the replacement rate is 2.1 children per family. For immigrants, let's say if you're coming from India, from Africa, from the Middle East, you probably have more children. But there's also Canada's uh, insane obsession with 2S, LGBTQAI++, whatever, how many letters you want to add. Listen, I don't have any issue with the alphabet community. You can identify as whatever you want to be. I don't give a shit. Listen, but if the entire country's population, all of its a military age, the young man all goes, oh, I'm gay. Listen, that means that country has fallen. That means it's the end of that civilization. I'm sorry, that's just the truth. And the right now, 20% of Gen Z is gay now. And uh, I've said this many times before, I'm sorry. As an immigrant that has arrived in Canada almost 20 years ago, multiculturalism cannot work. Diversity, equity, and inclusion, it's all a hoax. It's a scam. It's the greatest lie ever sold. This is why uh, China, Taiwan, Korea, Japan, they don't have diversity, equity, and inclusion. They have closed borders. They have extremely strict uh, immigration policies. And uh, Canada is turning into a shithole country. Maybe in a few years time, I will be uh, bringing you guys uh, original contents from Asia, Latin America. But uh, right now, if you can, get the hell out of Canada.